Life is just a huge peace leaf competition. We as humans have a habit of ranking things. We have a burning desire to put things in order. Ranking stuff from highest to lowest. Everything you do in life, people are going to size you up. And where you rank among others. Everything is first place, second place, third place. You know, manager, district manager, CEO, sergeant, lieutenant, general. Life is one giant race. And the prize at the end of the race is high quality pea sleeve. That's right. High quality pea sleeve is the reason that men get out of bed in the morning. Without it, most dudes would be living in a cardboard box. Pea sleeve sells half a million buck homes. It fills up college universities with sleeve hungry men, ready to make that money and reel them in a hot trophy wife. Men have a burning desire to rank high among other men. They want those hot pea sleeve mating rights, and ranking high is how you win them. Every competition you see on TV, whether it be hockey, basketball, football, are they playing for a shiny cup? A trophy? A shiny cup they don't even get to keep? Nope. That shiny cup really represents high quality pea sleep access. The next time you see a champion, he's not holding an actual trophy, but rather, he's holding the right to have himself a trophy wife. So like basically every guy on the planet wants to be rich and famous, that's their whole mission in life. They want to be singers, rock stars, actors, you name it. They basically fight their whole life and train their whole life to get their face on TV. And once they're on TV, it'll open up a whole new world of pea sleeve possibilities for them, right? Take a look at this. We call this the pea sleeve quality access meter, or PQAM for short. And every dude wants to get a high reading on this meter. For example, actors who star in movies, they would get a rather high PQAM reading. While 40-year-old unemployed overweight dudes would get a low reading. And every decision you make in life affects this meter reading. So on this meter, the hot younger chicks are at the top. And the older, fatter, uglier chicks are at the bottom. A man's testosterone looks wealth, and social status determines where his pea sleeve reading is. Some men are born into this world as average or above average, and they don't really have to do much in life. And some men are okay with that. But others are born at the bottom of the meter, and they have to fight their whole young adult life to get up to the top by going to college and climbing the corporate ladder and stuff like that, right? Remember though, your sleeve reading can fluctuate. Let's say you make some bad decisions in life, your PQAM reading could plummet, and you only get access to the bottom tap of the sleeve, like this. But say you go to college, you get good grades, you become a doctor or lawyer, and you rank rather high among men. Well, your PQAM reading is gonna be through the roof, and you'll be able to bang some, you know, top shelf sleeve, right? You gotta remember that women are always watching you, and they're judging. They're looking for any little reason to knock your meter reading down a few notches. Take a situation like this. Say if you get on the stage, on the TV, and the spotlight's on you, and you stutter a few words, or you flub up somehow, or you do something embarrassing, you basically fail. Boom. You just went from banging sevens to banging fives, just like that. Here's another example. Say these two athletes have the same meter reading, and it's the championship game. This guy just scored the game-winning goal, while this guy failed to block his shot, and he just lost the game. Well, the game winner, his goes up a few notches, while the loser, his drops a few. This miss might affect his life so bad that his current wife or girlfriend might even dump him for it. Ever notice when a football player does something really bad, like fumble the ball on a huge play on a huge game? They forgive one or two of them, but if he fumbles or drops the ball for a third time, he loses his position on the team, and he gets demoted to the practice squad or something. Then he eventually gets cut, and uh, guess where else he gets demoted and cut? Yep, on the pea sleep quality access meter. His PQAM reading goes down, and before you know it, he's got to bang fat chicks again, right? But yeah, that's what life is all about. It's one big race to rank high on the pea sleeve meter. We are constantly trying to outperform one another. While one guy excels at his career 
and climbs the ranks. He earns hotter sleeve, while his competition, the other guy, gets knocked down a few notches, and maybe he gets stuck with a fat chick. Just remember, the competition out there is fierce, because men will backstab each other, divide and conquer, go to war, rat out fellow business partners, sue each other, steal from one another, UFC fight each other, sabotage co-workers, and outplay one another in sports, all in the name of ranking higher to get access to that almighty top shelf peace leave. Period. <laughs>